Hello again students and welcome to the second lesson in our BMATIX and Chemistry revision. Here are the learning objectives. Be sure to spend some time knowing that you have met all these objectives at the end of your study. Let us now proceed into the lesson. The periodic table. Dmitry Mendeleev in Russia and Lothar Meyer in Germany independently recognize that there was a periodic relationship among the properties of the elements known at that time. Both published tables with the elements arranged according to increasing atomic mass. But Mendeleev went one step further than Meyer. He used his table to predict the existence of elements that would have the properties like aluminum and silicon, but were yet unknown. A modern periodic table arranges the elements in increasing order of their atomic numbers and groups atoms with similar properties in the same vertical column. Each box represents an element and contains its atomic number, symbol, average atomic mass, and, sometimes, name. The elements are arranged in seven horizontal rows, called periods or series, and 18 vertical columns, called groups. Groups are labeled at the top of each column. In the United States, the labels traditionally were numerals with capital letters. However, IPAC recommends that the numbers 1 through 18 be used, and these labels are more common. For the table to fit on a single page, parts of two of the rows, a total of 14 columns, are usually written below the main body of the table. Group 1, the first column, form compounds that consist of one atom of the element and one atom of hydrogen. These elements, except hydrogen, are known as alkali metals, and they all have similar chemical properties. The elements in group 2, the second column, form compound consisting of one atom of the element and two atoms of hydrogen. These are called alkaline earth metals, with similar properties among members of that group. Other groups with specific names are the nictogens, group 15, chalcogens, group 16, halogens, group 17, and the noble gases, group 18, also known as inert gases. Transition metals in the columns labeled 312, and inner transition metals in the two rows at the bottom of the table. The top row elements are called lanthanides, and the bottom row elements are actinides. Check your learning. Give the group name for each of the following elements. Krypton, selenium, barium, lithium. Pause the video, and write out your answers. The correct answers will be revealed at the end of the video. You can use the periodic table to predict whether an atom will form in an ion or cation, and you can often predict the charge of the resulting ion. Atoms of many main group metals lose enough electrons to leave them with the same number of electrons as an atom of the preceding noble gas. To illustrate, an atom of an alkali metal, group 1, loses one electron and forms a cation with a 1 plus charge. An alkaline earth metal, group 2, loses two electrons and forms a cation with a 2 plus charge, and so on. For example, a neutral calcium atom, with 20 protons and 20 electrons, readily loses 2 electrons. This results in a cation with 20 protons, 18 electrons, and a 2 plus charge. It has the same number of electrons as atoms of the preceding noble gas, argon, and is symbolized C at 2 plus. The name of a metal ion is the name of the metal atom from which it forms, so C at 2 plus is called a calcium ion. When atoms of non-metal elements form ions, they generally gain enough electrons to give them the same number of electrons as an atom of the next noble gas in the periodic table. Atoms of group 17 gain one electron and form an ions with a one minus charge. Atoms of group 16 gain two electrons and form ions with a two minus charge, and so on. For example, the neutral bromine atom with 35 protons and 35 electrons can gain one electron to provide it with 36 electrons. This results in an ion with 35 protons, 36 electrons, and a 1 minus charge. It has the same number of electrons as atoms of the next noble gas, krypton, and is symbolized Br minus. Note the usefulness of the periodic table in predicting likely ion formation and charge, figure 2.29. Moving from the far left to the right on the periodic table, main group elements tend to form cations with a charge equal to the group number. That is, group 1 elements form 1 plus ions, group 2 elements form 2 plus ions, and so on. Moving from the far right to the left on the periodic table, elements often form an ions with a negative charge equal to the number of groups moved left from the noble gases. For example, group 17 elements, one group left of the noble gases, form 1 minus ions. Group 16 elements, two groups left, form 2 minus ions, and so on. This trend can be used as a guide in many cases, but its predictive value decreases when moving toward the center of the periodic table. In fact, transition metals and some other metals often exhibit variable charges that are not predictable by their location in the table. For example, copper can form ions with a 1 plus or 2 plus charge, and iron can form ions with a 2 plus or 3 plus charge. Elemental Properties.As early chemists worked to purify ores and discovered more elements, they realized that various elements could be grouped together by their similar chemical behaviors. One such grouping includes lithium, Li, sodium, Na, and potassium, K. These elements all are shiny, conduct heat and electricity well, and have similar chemical properties. 
A second grouping includes calcium, Ka, strontium, senior, and barium, Ba, which also are shiny, good conductors of heat and electricity, and have chemical properties in common. However, the specific properties of these two groupings are notably different from each other. For example, Li, Na, and potassium are much more reactive than are calcium, strontium, and barium. Lithium, sodium, and potassium form compounds with oxygen in a ratio of two of their atoms to one oxygen atom, whereas calcium, strontium, and barium form compounds with one of their atoms to one oxygen atom. Fluorine, F, chlorine, Cl, bromine, Br, and iodine, I, also exhibit similar properties to each other, but these properties are drastically different from those of any of the elements above. Here are the answers to the earlier questions. Noble gas. Chalcogen. Alkaline earth metal. Alkali metal. No B is not required to be known for the exam. That is a quick summary. On the periodic table of elements be sure to practice using past papers. The next video is on chemical reactions, formulae, and equations.